Peace. Just wanted to wish you and your family a happy holidays. Thanks again for bringing me onto this great team, and I look forward to our success in 2020. Happy holidays. Hi, Elise. It's me. This is so fun. I'm doing this for my car phone holder that I finally purchased. Yay. <laughs> anyway, I'm so proud of you as a mom and as a friend and as a career woman. You know I say that to you all the time. You're achieving your aspirations, and I think you're amazing. I think we get each other. I get you. You may get me even more as a person, so it makes our work and relationship so easy and really just so fun. Um, I am going to tell you about a time that we were in the territory and you come into my territory like a tornado but you leave it the same way and we get so much done while you're here it just honestly cracks me up um but you pointed out the window as we were driving like a five-year-old and said oh leave me here i had to leave you early because i had an appointment that i needed to get to and i dropped you off into what was a construction site it was one of our many days in the hamptons i'm going to show you a picture of it so you're going to recall it i looked in my view mirror and was really inside just cracking up because you sat there with looking so classy and you had your boot on from your broken ankle and you were doing your work and I'm like this woman is the best you're killing it girl Merry Christmas <laughs> hey Elise it's Matt I wanted to wish you happy holidays and I know you're getting a little video tribute so I wanted to share a story that I have of Elise so I know that everybody has a little bit of anxiety when they work with you, uh, specifically of where you're going to go eat. Now, I've never had that anxiety for a couple of reasons. One is that I'll eat anything, as you know. Uh, secondly, you'll pick the restaurant because you know that I'll eat anything. And also, if it is a place that I'm going to pick, you know it might be one of the places that I choose as my webinars because I only choose the finest for Elise. That would be either Red Lobsters, IHOP, or the, I think the most recent when we worked together, I think we ate out of a truck in Washington Heights. So I think not always, but uh, Elise can be very daring, even when it comes to cuisine. Uh, take care. Happy holidays again. Bye-bye. Hi Elise, happy holidays. I almost just said happy Thanksgiving, but we're past that. Um, I am so happy to be on this team, um, one of your lucky seven. And I think that New York is the best team by far. And I think that you're the number one reason for that. Um, but for me specifically, I am just so grateful to have a boss or to have found it. Well, you found me, but um, to have you as my fearless leader, I think that you and my mom were separated at birth. I tell you that all the time, but I think you have brought a sense of comfort and a sense of home for me in New York to a job that was very nerve wracking going into it. Um, but whether it is demanding excellence out of me, teaching me what hard work is, or yelling at me about wearing a coat, I promise I wore one today. Um, I just feel a very strong connection to you and I'm so happy to be working with you every single day. So thank you. Um, and thank you for picking up pretty much every single phone call, whether it's the fourth one of the day and letting me ramble about who knows what. Um, but you're the best and we're so lucky to have you. So I hope you enjoy your little time off, um, much deserved and, your work family will be waiting for you when you're back. Shout out to everybody from New York City! Today I'm gonna to take you through the many hats that Elise wears. Elise every day is putting out fires for us. There's firefighter Elise. She puts out fires from corporate, from customers, from Michael Bauer. We don't know half the fires she puts out every day. Usually she says, Krista, just don't worry about it. Don't, I got it, I got it. Next slide. Now, I don't think there's anybody who can't agree that Elise has our back. She comes in sometimes like a bulldozer, sometimes with great humor, but no matter what the situation is, we have a problem with it, she's got our back. Thanks, Elise. Then there's Elise, the quarterback. She's throwing passes all over the place. She's saying, hey guys, take a hike out there to the VA. Hey, get in that hospital, drive some business, return on investment. Hey guys, the pass is going out there. Drive some depth. Drive some breath. Let's go, guys.
guys. At least the quarterback. Then there's at least the pirate. The beatings will continue until morale improves. But in all seriousness, we have a pretty darn great team, right? Everybody in every district at our uh, our meetings, our national meetings, our um, our area meetings, everybody sees that we have a pretty great team. We have fun together. We laugh. We got each other's back too. Thanks, Elise. This right here is Elise and I crashing the VA hospital. I remember one time when we went into the VA together. At that time, I wasn't as comfortable in the VA. But Elise said one thing to me, two words, act as if. I guess that's three words. Act as if, Krista. And you know what? Since then, we've acted as if in so many situations and we get the job done. No matter where we are, if we're supposed to be there, if we're not supposed to be there, we act as if, and I love it. And here, here's my favorite slide. There's our great team. Vivitrol, President's Club winners 2020. Go team, hang loose. It's Jody. I think you can see I'm a little festive here. My voice is a little different, but for the holiday season, I just want to wish you a very happy holidays and a wonderful um, new year. I really have enjoyed working with you in 2019 um, and getting to know you really well. I think 2020 is going to be even be better, uh, and I really have enjoyed the time that we spent together, and I look forward to working closely with you even more. So enjoy the holiday season with your family. All the best wishes, all the best wishes for the new year, and I'll see you in 2020. Bye. Hey, Elise. Wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I, uh, I definitely miss a lot of things about being on your team. You know, first, you know how to cut through the BS like nobody else. And I always appreciated the straight shooter that you are. Uh, second, you really know how to make POAs fun, which is not easy to do sometimes. So I really always enjoyed being on your team. And um, I know I'm working with you in a different capacity now, but definitely uh, appreciate everything you've done over the years. Um, you know, I learned a lot from you, you know, really developed as a salesperson and as a professional and learning from you. So thanks for everything, Elise. Again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all the best to you and your family. We'll talk to you soon. So I just wanted to say, despite the evidence that you see behind me, global warming does exist. Just ask person. Um, but secondly, I just wanted to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I look forward to working with you and the team in 2020. Merry Christmas. Hi Elise, it's Pam. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, I just wanted to send a quick note and say thank you so much for, um, for making me a part of your team. I feel so honored and I feel so humbled to have met you and I feel that we are definitely kindred spirits. Um, I know that you've gone through some changes in the last couple of months with the move and all additional uh, things that you've, you've been through. And I can speak to all the changes that I've been through in the last year. And, and boy, what a difference a year can make. But uh, it'll all work out in the end. And I just wanted to say how thankful I am to be a part of your team. And um, I'm in such a good spot. And I have, I have you to thank for that. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you and your family. Take care. Hello, Elise. This is your favorite FRM I've been. Just wanted to share my appreciative thoughts as far as the collaboration that's been going on you know, this year in 2019. And um, just appreciate you know, your support for our mutual efforts um, to support the patrol. Um, I appreciate your managerial courage, um, your spirit, and your dedication to the mission critical at hand. So we had a great 2019, but I think there's a lot more to achieve. So all the best in 2020. Happy Holidays, Elise! So by now, you've probably figured out that one of our goals for this holiday season was to come up with a fun and innovative gift for you and have it be something that you hadn't already thought of yourself for us, which was not easy, by the way. But I know we had a lot of fun creating this tribute for you and coming together as a team to recognize your amazing leadership style. I know for me personally, as a woman working for you, it's been especially meaningful 
because honestly, you have verbalized things to me that I'm only now hearing for the first time in my professional career. You know, you have repeatedly reminded me that when I walk in someplace, I have the right to be there. You have also reminded me that I should never apologize for my intelligence nor my passion. Thank you so much for recognizing my experience and going a step further and actually relocating me here to join your team because of it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday with your girls and the family, and I can't wait to take Brooklyn by storm with you in 2020. Happy holidays! Thank you.